Hey fam, thank you for coming over to the channel tonight. And um, it comes with a heavy heart that you still have to be faced with racism, discrimination, harassment. Oh, and the list can go on and on. I mean, it's worse when it's a white and black thing. When it's a black on black thing, you just have to call it how it is, okay? But when you feel in your gut, that somebody has did something to you and it was racially motivated and probably discriminatory as well, you need to call a lawyer ASAP. And hopefully they will get back in touch with you because you're going to give them your cell number, your home number, you know, whatever. And when they do get back in touch with you, they might tell you, you got a, um, you got a good cl clear case. And, some monetary gain can be afforded to your cause. Now, Fantasia has just been, oh, uh, what do you call it? She had experienced racism on a human level. She went to this Airbnb, got what she said it was, but I'm let you listen to the audio as well. It's not that long. She didn't want to tear her too long, but she was. Picking and choosing her words carefully is what I noticed. But she experienced, and I can't believe, you know, her being in the South, she never had that happen. But when you're booking an Airbnb over the um, Internet, you really don't know who the homeowners are. You just are given the location of the key, uh, follow the rules that they have laid for you in the house, Um Things of that nature. Well, see, my thing would have been like this. Fantasia, did you go to the mountain signing? Because I would have been, huh? I would have been singing uh, everything that I knew about that B&B and who I booked it with. That's just how I am. I ain't finna tarry on and do this, that. No, I'm gonna call it a spade a spade. I'm gonna call the dog a dog. I'm not gonna call a dog a cat when we can physically see it's a dog, all right? But so I won't tarry too long. Um, let me give you the story. The background Fantasia was doing something for her kid that was 13 years old. He wanted to have all his friends uh, celebrate his birthday with him. And he, I don't know who idea. She said it was her son to go to an Airbnb. Um, I mean, most kids like to go to Florida, you know, to experience the Disney, or well, not the Disney, but the Mickey Mouse world or whatnot. <sighs> But I, I couldn't, she didn't say why she picked this Airbnb and where it was located. Because my thing is, girl, you good. You good. Because I would call the police. And police would have to have given me proof, sound proof, that we violated any of the uh, regulations to renting their Airbnb. And then if we didn't come up with anything, then we just go back with our gut feeling. That it was a racist move these Airbnb people made. And how she explained it, it's almost like, why would you want to stay? You got people looking at you, coming out their house, sitting down in their lawn chairs, and looking at y'all. Sharply. But anyway, that's enough of me um, telling you about it. Let's have her uh, give you a little rendition of what happened. I asked my son what he wanted. My son's birthday was on December 13th. I asked my son what he wanted. And my son wanted to rent a house at the lake and bring six of his friends. And so that's what we did. Kids, this house has games in the garage, like that air hockey, ping pong. They even have poker. They have a um, hot tub and they have like a fire pit out back. Um, and the lake is across the street. Kids. Kids. Okay. We had somebody to come in and do a uh, company to come in and put them like a balloon arch. And for two hours in the daytime, we had a game truck. I pulled up. I didn't hear anything with no DJ. Um, <laughs> the kids were on the game truck quietly playing because they're gamers. 
Thank you guys for saying happy birthday to my son. Um, the neighbors, I don't know if this is a color thing, and I, I don't want to feel like it, but my heart is completely broken. That they, they didn't call and say, like, hey, this is a warning. Maybe you guys are too loud. Now, remind you, we had a sip and paint with hot chocolate where they painted Sonic. Where's, give me somebody's picture so I can show. I think it's one over here, baby girl. Where they painted Sonic, drunk hot chocolate, and then my husband put the fire pit on and we went outside and told scary stories. Now, you probably heard maybe one or two screams. But the kids were in the bed by 9 o'clock. What time did they call with the complaint? About 11.30. Stating that it was loud over here. They got complaints. It was a lot of noise. Oh, complaints, a lot of noise. We had a party bus. We had a party bus. Um, that they were watching us on camera. They got a lot of videos from neighbors. Oh, yeah, that they have videos. But nobody sent in. Um, we're like, can you send us the proof, ma'am? Or... We see the videos, the kids are sleeping. We were on the phone. We were like, do you guys hear anything? The kids are watching a movie upstairs. It felt like... It felt like a black thing. I came home to North Carolina, out to the lake. What lake is this? Where are we at? Morris Hill? And all of the houses, there's like this house sits in the middle and there's like three houses behind it where they can just sit and look at us. It feels so It felt like a black thing. I came home to North Carolina, out to the lake. What lake is this? Where are we at? Morris Hill? And all of the houses, there's like this house sits in the middle and there's like three houses behind it where they can just sit and look at us. It feels like a colored thing. Like, I'm being honest. And you're right. This makes me, I'm ready to buy my own Airbnb. I could have stayed at home. I could have stayed at home. This is what my son wants in. I could have stayed at home. But this this does push me to go ahead and get my, to, to own my own. And if. And it should not push you to get your own Airbnb. Unless you just want that extra income. And then that's what you're doing it for. Sure, go ahead. You got the money, I'm sure. But if you're just trying to um, just get something by the lake, do you think they're going to treat you even better? Yeah, they might stop you from even buying in the area or right in their neighborhood. Racism is not going to get better. Discrimination is not going to get better until the Lord come get us because we don't know how to act towards each other. We don't know how to act between the different cultures. We don't know how to act when it comes to our same culture. So we're just a lost, we're just a lost America. God forbid a, a, a human, what do you call it? A human catastrophe or something like Armageddon is upon us. You're going to really see who turns on you. Mm -hmm. So that's not the answer, buying your own Airbnb. No, what you should have done was went to their police station, filed a report got quickly out of their home that you were renting and you would tell them that I need my money back ASAP, okay? Because y'all are breaking the rules of the contract. And I would definitely let my lawyer see the contract and what was specified. I'll take pictures to make sure they can't say we tore up anything or just that and the third. And that's how I would have handled it. You know, I would have gave everybody the information to not come. I would have just got on my Instagram account or YouTube, say, please do not come to this area or uh, rent a B&B, Airbnb from these people because they are discriminatory. And that would been it. You know, I, I definitely would have checked with my lawyer before I put that out. But maybe her lawyer did tell her to do this. I'm not sure. But let's go back to the tape. And when I do, I would never do people like they just did us. They made us get up at 6 in the morning and told us to get all these kids up and get out. Oh, they told us to get out last night. My, my stomach literally, literally hurts. Everything that I planned for my son today 
They have a grill out here, you guys. They Oh, they have a sign that says, uncork and unwind, you're on lake time. What was the other one? Uh, uh, what's, what, what, what happened at the lake stays at the lake. Oh, they got a picture up that says, enjoy life. <laughs> I'm just like, well, how are you going to... Oh, can I see your picture, baby? Yes, and it's so pretty. Sip and paint. No DJ. Sip and paint. Hot chocolate. Set the kids at the table. Watched us at the ring and said we couldn't have. So let me ask you guys a question. If you rent out an Airbnb, let's say you go somewhere for Christmas, you're going to see your family or you can't have family over to the Airbnb. Y'all can't eat. Y'all can't cook. And there's a stove. Y'all can't play the games that they have over in the thing or go out in the garage if they have a, a hockey table and a. Oh, you can't run the fire pit, but they got one. Nobody got in the the uh, hot tub. It's cold. It's raining. I'm confused, y'all. It feels like a black thing. And all of the kids that are here with us, they're not just black kids. We love people. We love humans. We. Yeah, like, are you kidding me? I can cry right now. That they made us get up these kids. Now I got to go in there and wake up my baby. I literally want to go to the news station, radio station, everybody and tell them, don't ever come. Don't rent out. Don't Airbnb. This was dirty. This was dirty. But you just, this was the push that I'm going to go tomorrow if I wanted to. If I wanted to, I could. I worked that hard to go buy. We could go buy our own. And when we do, we not going to treat people like that. We don't care the color of your skin. You ran out of house, just don't tear up the walls. Just don't tear up the floors. Just treat it with respect. But you pay your money for it, so have a good time. Kids. Yes, baby. You okay? Uh, it's because I'm writing in the comments. Um, let me see. I'm going to figure it out, okay? Sweet kids. Here you go, baby. Thank you for letting me use your sonic picture. That we had sipping. We about to leave. We about to go. And I'm gonna tell you something. This has been a long, long it's in a while. Huh? Yeah. And I gotta get all get my babies. It's raining, it's cold. And I'm dead tired. I just got off the road. I wanted to just make him happy. 